Rogers, an addition more on him as we continue. But how about Sabathia? He'd thrown 70 plus pitches, three innings, had the lead. Did they take him out too early? No, because he was wavering out there. That's a hard fought 77 pitches, especially to a 38 year old left hander. He was laboring out there. They felt like to, since they have the bullpen depth, they could still steal this ball game and hold that lead. But again, you know, that's the situation when your starter throws a lot of pitches makes him work at bat after a bat and uh, end up paying off for the Red Sox. So maybe you th think of that bullpen is better than it was against these Red Sox hitters. Yeah, he had four walks. So uh, you have the ability to go out there and the importance of this game to go out there and use your bullpen. I think Aaron Boone had to make that choice because he was wavering. But uh, at 77 pitches, 45 strikes, not enough to show that he was refined and he could go through that lineup. This lineup for the Red Sox is very dangerous. Yeah, and the Red Sox, uh, if you're into statement games, but is this demoralizing for the Yankees? Now, the season series is 5-5, but it's a six-and-a-half game gap, and we're getting later in the season. We understand how important this game is for the Yankees, this first starter game, but when it comes down to it, it's Luis Severino tomorrow. Their ace is on the mound. Even though he has struggled of late, he hasn't got through the sixth inning, and coming off his worst start right. of the year. I think that's the reason why Aaron Boone made the choice he did. He relies on Luis Severino, and he is their ace. It gives him confidence because he's the stopper, just added to tomorrow's importance of his game. I agree a thousand percent, but in this situation, to go on the road, you need to steal a couple games. This is a big stumble for the Yankees locker room. They understand that, hey, hey, this team's a lot better, <laughs> and it doesn't matter about the series. If you're going on right now, if you had to play against this Red Sox team, there's not a lot of confidence in that Yankee dugout right now yeah, moving yeah. forward. Yeah. Severino's not really pitching well. Porcello will go for Boston. But the statement really has already been made through the course of the season by this Red Sox team. I mean, the lineup depth, you saw by the highlight sheet, everyone plays, everyone hits. You're seeing the athleticism. You're seeing the life. You see from the last couple of days the Yankees bouncing balls around defensively. The Red Sox take pride in it. not only their offensive capabilities, but their defensive capabilities as well. This is just a well fine uh, machine right now for the Red Sox. And I, I think, think they're better. This is the matchup that I think baseball wants to see right now, but it really ha has an impact of the thought process of these two clubs. Red Sox know they're the best team right now. I think the Yankees are trying to get back. Plus, two stars out of their lineup. They understand they have to try to at least split the series. Yeah, and repeating again the idea of one division winner and a wild card, a one-game playoff, so to speak. Then you could see them match up uh, once again. And Saturday, you could see these two teams uh, match up. One of the great rivalries. And right now, they come in as the two best records in all of baseball. Take a look at the Yankees and Stanton against Mookie Betts. Had another big night in the Red Sox. Coverage beginning 3 Eastern. That's New Pacific here on FS1. Also streaming live on the Fox Sports app.